What's up guys, it's BT here, and I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing this new trend on Twitter and it goes a little something like this. Hey BT, can you do a review of the mousepad company, mousepad? Hey BT, can you do a mousepad review, mousepad of the... <laughs> this video has been sponsored by Squarespace. Oh yeah. So the way that the mouse pack company came to be is that a pro player, NRG Epicwell and his brother got tired of all the mainstream mouse pads and decided to make their own. So right now we have a ton of good mouse pads out, but the one thing and one problem I continuously see is that the durability of these mouse pads does not hold up over time. So that is one area where the mouse pack company wanted to come in and make a difference in the space. They're not too badly priced at $35 and they come in these gorgeous colors. I got the red, yellow, black, white and gray one and it looks absolutely sick on my desk by far one of my favorite looking mouse pads that i've ever owned in my opinion the colors look very true to what they have on their website now when i did unravel this mouse pad uh, the left side of the mouse pad did lift up slightly i had to kind of press it down over time but it still kind of comes up here and there it has a great rubber base that doesn't move at all this is probably one of the best bases that i've ever tried especially for my bamboo desk which is just slick as hell they have a nice clean logo at the bottom of the mouse pad it's definitely not as obnoxious as some companies have made their logos on their mouse pads in the past it comes in two different sizes a small which is 18 by 15 inches they have a large that's 36 inches by 18 inches and it's three millimeters thick which is pretty much what we've seen across the board from other mouse pad companies the stitch edging is very smooth it's tight there's no frame going on and it's very smooth against your skin so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video they want to tackle the issue of durability with mouse pads and they've done that by creating a rougher surface that will essentially last you a longer period of time the roughness really reminds me of like a cooler master mp510 but slightly rougher and I think it's because the mp510 used Cordura and I think this is more of like a cloth type material and the weave is smaller than on the mp510 as well and I couldn't find what material they're actually using, but when I did put water on it, it just soaked it up. So I'm assuming it's some kind of cloth and not like a proprietary Cordera material or anything like that. So since this is so rough, if you're a person that likes to have their whole arm on the mouse pad, you're gonna feel like this mouse pad is a little bit slower than your typical cloth pad, which is good and bad depending on who you are. Now, if you're somebody that likes to swipe a lot and your arm is resting fully on the table, you're gonna feel some friction along your forearm uh, and that's gonna give you more control, but over time, it does irritate your skin. But there are some arm aimers that actually have their arm lifted so that they can freely move the mouse. And that's when I saw the most speed out of this pad. The smaller weave and the rougher material actually caught my arm more times than not. So it takes a little bit more effort to actually move your mouse in that case. So for you medium to high sense people out there, you're not gonna be as irritated by this pad because you're not gonna be moving your arm around as much. You're mostly gonna be wrist aiming predominantly with a little bit of arm movement here and there when you need it. But if I was like cranking 90s and I had a low sensitivity, this mouse pad would just kill my arm at the end of the day so before we finish up with the speed and my final conclusions about this mouse pad i want to tell you guys a little bit about our sponsor today now have you guys ever wanted to make a website but didn't know where to start well today's sponsor can help squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business using its fantastic marketing tools and seo tools to make sure that people are actually finding your site i personally use squarespace to create my own website in under 30 minutes it's that easy it's super simple to do using their pre-made templates that can provide you a great starting place so head on over to squarespace.com slash brandon taylor for a free trial and to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain today oh yeah so I did some speed tests and just from filling this out versus my other favorite mouse pads I feel like this is actually a medium pad I don't feel like it's a fast pad. I feel like this is right smack dab in the middle. It's nowhere close to a Thor and I actually felt like the GSRSE from Zowie was a little bit faster as well because there's not that much friction on your arm when you're moving your mouse. The MP510 because of its big weave actually felt slightly smoother and easier to move your mouse. So I wouldn't call this a fast pad, a true fast pad. I would call this a control pad 
because of the friction that it gives your arm, it gives you a lot of control over the movement of your mouse. So if you're a person that likes aftermarket feet like core pads or hyperglides or tiger arc feet, this mouse pad is gonna be a little bit faster. If you're using like default feet, like on a G Pro wireless or something like that, uh, it's gonna be even slower. So since this isn't a fast pad, who is this gonna be for? Well, in conclusion, I feel like this is gonna be great for people that have like a high sense or medium sense that want a highly durable mouse pad. It's gonna be great for you guys. If you're somebody that loves to whip around your mouse, if you're like two foo status or somebody that just has a really, really low, like 43 plus centimeter for a 360, uh, you might wanna look elsewhere at a faster pad or something that's gonna be a little bit more smoother on your skin. Overall, for the asking price of $35, I do feel like this is a good buy if you fall into the categories that I mentioned before. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this review of the Mouse Company Mouse Pad. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. It has been your boy BT saying peace.